Hello, I'm Dr. Radia Bugebs, you're one of your instructors in strategic reading, developing strategic reading. Okay. I will start presenting part one in sequence one entitled The Reading Process. According to one of the famous linguists, Nuttall, the best way to acquire or to learn a foreign language is whether living in that country or reading extensively, and this is the appropriate choice. The main objective of this sequence is to first develop in you a how to determine the purpose of reading before you start in reading that material. Also to develop in you the identifying and making a list of the different characteristics in an active strategic reading and more importantly to differentiate between the four types of reading which are skimming, scanning, intensive and extensive reading. Let's begin. What is a strategic active reading? Active reading can be described as a sustained inquiry where the reader think of reading as a dialogue and they are proactively involved with the writer's ideas rather than words, meaning that the focus is on identifying what is behind the ideas of the writer. The, uh, Generally, when we talk and in the uh, oral interaction, we know the of course, we talk back when we are asked, we may ask questions for inquiring or we may focus on the facial expressions and the speaker's gestures and sometimes we focus attention on the tone of his voice. So that's, this all will help us to understand what he is he's saying. These same strategies can be applied by the reader when reading. How is it possible? For achieving or developing a comprehension of reading, we simultaneously or the reader simultaneously focus on extracting and constructing the meaning through his interaction and involvement with the written language. To do so, we need three main elements, which are the reader, the text, and the activity or the purpose of reading. What do you mean by the reading purposes? To read, for sure, we do not read materials in the same way. How is it? So, we have got a monograph, an article, or the reader may, a material, maybe an email message, a recipe, a dictionary, a newspaper, or a textbook. All these are materials that are designed to be read. Do we read them in the same way? Absolutely no. The way one, of course, reads a novel, a restaurant menu, or an academic article is different due to what? To the change in reading purpose. So by purpose, we mean this intention that the reader has got in his mind before he starts reading. We may read for the sake just of pleasure, to entertain ourselves, relax, or just pass time. We may read to extract a specific information which is referred to as reading for a quick reference, or our intention may be reading for academic purpose, and in this case, our intent is to develop our knowledge, make a deep understanding or analysis of the ideas. These same purposes so will guide the reader towards different and types and skills of reading. The different purposes guide the reader towards four main reading types. The reading may be a skimming reading, or a scanning reading, or an intensive reading, or an extensive reading. What do we mean by these four types? Take the example of a skim reading. In a scheme reading, the reader uses a, a fast eye movement, meaning that his eyes are moving too fast throughout the text. Why doing so? His main intent is just reading for general information. For sure, what will be the result of this scheme reading? If the reader finds something interesting, relevant, and worthy, he will read it or decide to read the text carefully. And we can take the example of turning the pages of a book, of course, for the sake of deciding whether to read this book as a whole or just skipping and moving to another book. Okay, let's take the second type of reading, which is scanning. Different from skimming, scanning takes the form of a quick reference. 
to the text, meaning here, the reader's intention is just to locate specific facts or bits or small information in the text. During a scanning reading here, the readers should ignore or ignore much of the details because why his intention is focused on those facts. And of course, uh, the appropriate example we can give to uh, exemplify and illustrate scanning is when we are in at a restaurant and we are reading a menu just to know about the meal one would like to order. The third type is another type which is based on another purpose or another intention in the reader's mind. Intensive reading. What is an intensive reading? And in intensive reading, different from skimming and from scanning, here we need a deep focused attention on the material. It requires from the reader to read short text carefully and deeply. And I would like to focus on the word carefully because we need to learn specific details about the topic we are studying. Sometimes we need to get to those details. So here, we, when reading to gain much Simon, understanding the reader's focus is to understand the literal meaning of the text being read. He will be interested in knowing all the details. And of course, an appropriate example we can give is when reading a text again and again. Here we read it more than one time to extract its literal meaning. So here, this is what is behind the intensive reading. When moving to the fourth type of reading, which is extensive reading. Different from extensive reading, in, uh, from an intensive reading, in extensive reading, here the reader requires to read a large quantities of long texts. And here, long text can be, uh, it depends on the reader himself. It can be books, uh, uh, magazines, but uh, the main purpose behind this reading, which is uh, behind the extensive reading, is uh, to read for the sake of passing time. So here, the reader's attention is not more focused on uh, uh, knowing the details, but rather getting the general understanding with the intention of obtaining pleasure from uh, this uh, text. And here, a good example is one reading magazines, fiction novels, comic books, uh, etc. All those materials. So, uh, all in all, we have said that the reading purposes determine the types of reading. If you want to pass time, you have to select or read more large books or more books, which is extensive reading. If you want to learn and develop your knowledge, you have to focus your attention on an intensive reading. If, of course, it is just to locate some information, it is a, a scanning strategy. And, of course, if your intention is just to decide whether to read or not to read a given material, you are, of course, you are oriented towards uh, skimming uh, reading. Uh, all in all, uh, all uh, those strategies we have uh, we have uh, explained uh, through uh, this uh, sequence. We will uh, extend. Uh, you will you can check your knowledge through uh, some activities that are provided so that uh, you know uh, your level of learning. Thanks for your uh, attention.